Hey students, um, so you may be wondering, where do we see all these different types of cells? Um, well, we, we have um, unicellular organisms in everyday life. Um, we see these everywhere. And an example of this is bacteria, and bacteria is on everything, even our hands. So this is why it's so important to wash our hands, um, especially after using the bathroom and before we eat, so we don't, we're not eating all this bacteria. Um, we also see mold. Mold is an example of a unicellular organism because it relies on one type of cell to live. Um, have you ever seen, um, uh, have you ever looked at your bread at home and seen some blue, green, or black fuzzy stuff on it? This is mold. Um, mold feeds off the moisture in the bread, um, inside of the bread bag. Um, multicellular organisms, a good example of this is us, humans. Um, our bodies rely on many different systems and cells to stay alive. Um, we rely on nerve cells to tell us, whoa, don't touch the stove, it's too hot. Um, and then if we do touch something hot, our nerve cells send signals to our brain that says, take your hand off that, don't touch it. Um, we also rely on cardiac cells, or cardiac cells are the cells that make up our heart. Um, and we rely on these to keep our blood pumping throughout our bodies. Um, we rely on our muscle cells um, to keep our body moving. Um, so we, we also see multicellular organisms when we see plants and animals. Um, there are so many different types of um, multicellular organisms on the earth and we just can't cover them all.